mentor, family, faculty, distinguished guests, and undistinguished guests. I don't mean to judge, it's just statistically unlikely that all of you are going to be distinguished. <laughs> Men and gentlemen, women and ladies, pets, be they seeing eye or otherwise, friends, Romans, countrymen, the half dozen of you who saw the crowds here at the arena and suspected there must have been a basketball game going on. I'm sorry to disappoint. And, of course, most importantly, the Fulbright graduating class of 2009. And that's right. They say a good commencement speech begins with a joke, so I thought I would mention our economy. <laughs> now, here at Fulbright, we might live in an artsy, sciencey dream world, far from the harsh realities of, well, reality. But the business college is having their commencement today as well, and it's doubling as a prayer service for the Dow. <laughs> so our thoughts are with them. But secretly, perhaps, we feel a quiet relief when we told our friends and families what we plan to major in. They asked what kind of job we could possibly get with that degree. But it looks like we'll have the last laugh because those suckers aren't going to get jobs either. <laughs> Yeah, they say a recession is the best time to invest in a higher education. So as we graduate in the midst of an economic crisis so great that fashion experts are predicting that the hot couture of this summer will be a wooden barrel worn as a pair of suspenders. <laughs> well, our timing couldn't have been worse, but at least our hearts were in the right place. We sought out an education. We wanted to learn about what interested us, what captivated our minds and our spirits. Many of us can now name all of the bars on Dixon. <laughs> or every single contestant on the second season of the VH1 hit series, Flavor of Love, starring Flavor Flav. <laughs> I love New York, person. A few of us even know a thing or two about the arts and sciences. Some of the math majors in this very audience can count well past a hundred. I know that sounds unbelievable, but trust me, I've seen it with my own two eyes. <laughs> and college is about getting an education and meeting friends, and making memories. It's not about getting a cushy job right after you graduate, and thus never having to worry about paying your bills ever again. That doesn't matter. <laughs> what is important is the love we share. In the words of the great William Shakespeare, <clears throat> I never went to college, but if I had, I would have gone to the University of Arkansas, because that's where you'll find the greatest combination of intellectual stimulation and personal fulfillment, Wu Pig Suey. Yes, he actually said that. It's Hamlet, Act 2, Scene 4. Look it up. <laughs> Certainly, we will never forget the University of Arkansas. The Alumni Association will make sure of that. <laughs> but as we go our separate ways, moving on to our careers, or continued education, or our parents' basements, I am certain that some strange force, some mystical connection, some ethereal bond will tie us together and hold us in communion for the rest of our lives. I'm speaking, of course, about Facebook. <laughs> and I, I'd like to close by reading a poem written by a great 20th century lyrical poet named Joel Leach. And though it's almost nine years old, I think it still has a message for us here today. <clears throat> hit that line, hit that line, keep on going. Take that ball right down the field. Now, I, I hate to interrupt here in the middle of it, but I want to give a little poetic analysis because it's probably the last time my English major is going to come in handy. <laughs> when it says ball, I think it means spirit of change and human possibility. And when it says down the field, I think it means into the hearts and minds of every red-blooded American. Of course, this is only my subjective analysis, but I think you should keep that in mind while I read the rest of the poem. Where was I? I keep on going. To Give a cheer. Rah, rah. Never fear. Rah, rah. Arkansas will never yield. On your toes, Razorbacks, to the finish. Carry on with all your might. For it's A, 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 R, K, A, N, S, A, S for Arkansas. Fight, fight, fight. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Thank you, Greg. I'll remember those words always. <laughs>